this little guy, it just kind of knocks the socks off of what Apple has. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's Cameron Doherty here with another tech video. Now, in our last video, we looked at the offerings for Apple's power adapters, the 5, 12, 20, and 30 watt versions. Today, we're gonna to be looking at some alternative options from Anchor. So we have three different offerings from Anchor that kind of are a competitor or a replacement to some of the different Apple versions. And so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these different ones and kind of see where they fit on the spectrum, who they'd be good for, what their price are, and really think whether it makes sense to consider uh, this specific one or one like it or to stick with the Apple version. So first one, All right, this is the PowerPort 3 Nano. This is the smallest charger we're gonna be looking at today. It is basically an identical size to the five watt Apple charger. Uh, however, the amazing thing about this little guy is that this is a 20 watt power adapter. Uh, so this fits in actually amazingly right here at exactly the same as the brand new 20 watt adapter with USB-C in both cases and kind of gives you the best of both worlds, the speed of the 20 watt charging with the compact form factor of the five watt version. Uh, so this is a pretty compelling offering for sure. This specific model is the A2633. Uh, and so you got to be thinking, okay, you know, you, you must be paying then for the convenience of having that amount of wattage pumped into a small little form factor, but that's not actually the case. You're, you're looking at $19 for the Apple uh, version of this for this little guy, only $17. Uh, so really for virtually the same price, you can find this guy down as low as 17 on Amazon and things like that at times. So basically for the same price, you can get a much smaller device, much more portable, uh, much easier to toss into a bag, much easier to get into the wall too, because one thing to consider is how much the Apple one will stick out from the wall. So if you want to tuck it behind a, a desk or a table, or we have this one behind a little mini fridge and uh, you need to have whatever that object is pulled out a little bit further than you would otherwise when you've got a deeper charger like that. So really compelling offering here. The interesting thing with all three of these Anchor chargers, uh, power adapters, are that they are using what's called gallium nitride, which is a, a new type of metal basically that allows that replaces the silicone that's used in these older versions and allows it to be much smaller and so it's a it's all over anchors website they really advertise this a lot it's they're claiming it to be higher efficiency uh cooler operating temperature and also being able to give you the smaller size uh i came across a really interesting verge science video i'm going to link that down in the description i think that does a really good job of explaining what gallium nitride is, how it's coming into the tech world, and how it's going to be used going forward. I think this is something over the years we're going to see this transition in a lot of devices. I think this is just one example right now where you can see how much smaller something can get with still the same capacity and capability. So pretty cool there. So that is our first one. Let's take a look at the second one. Okay, so this is the PowerPort Atom PD-1. So this is slightly larger. Uh, you'll see that it is uh, just a little bit deeper, just uh, pretty much all of the dimensions are just a little bit more than the one we just looked at. Uh, but the impressive thing about this one, much like with this guy, is that this is actually a 30 watt charger. And so this is actually exactly the same as what we're looking at with what came with our new 2020 uh, MacBook Air. So this is the 30 watt power adapter that came with that. Both again are USB type C. 
So this is the same thing in a smaller form factor, will sit much less off the wall. Uh, you can see the difference in the depth there for sure. Uh, so in the same way that this is impressive, this little guy, it just kind of knocks the socks off of what Apple has. And so again, you would think, okay, you must be paying for that innovation, paying for that gallium nitride. Uh, there must be something that is going to be more expensive here. But once again, you're looking at a $30 charger here from Anchor compared to a $49 charger from Apple. And so, you know, unless this is coming included with your computer and you're going to just stick with it, great. But if you're looking to buy one, uh, this kind of seems like a no-brainer. Uh, this specific model is the A2017. Uh, and so once again, you've got two different situations here where, you know, pound for pound, we'll say it's, it's kind of knocking the socks off of Apple. And I mean, as you can tell, I'm unboxing these right now. I haven't tested these. I, I plan to do much more thorough testing to see really who comes out on top. Is there a noticeable difference at all? Because obviously you can make claims, but if you don't live up to them and if you're not performing in the same way, then it's no longer worth it. But that is the second one we're looking at there, the uh, PowerPort Atom PD-1, and uh, that's that. Now the last one. So we're kind of at the cap here. We've, we've made it to the top of what we looked at. In our last video, I mentioned there's, there's some chargers that Apple offers that go much higher in wattage than the 30 watt, but when you're looking at specifically iPhone charging, there's no reason to go higher than that. It'll charge your laptop faster, but there's really not not a need for it. So this one is an interesting offering though, where it's kind of this plus. And so let's take a look at this. So the final one to look at today, obviously we're no longer in the small territory. We are much bigger than all of our other options here. But what you'll see on this one is that we have now dual USB type C charging on this device. This is the PowerPort Atom PD2. And so it shares a common name with this. And essentially what you're looking at here is two of this. So where this is one 30 watt port, this is two 30 watt ports. But one thing I found particularly intriguing about this is that uh, they have a function that they're referring to as intelligent power allocation. So whereas some chargers that offer two ports like this are truly limited to one 30 watt output and another 30 watt output, which would be great if you're charging your MacBook and an iPhone, two iPhones, something like that. Uh, however, in the event that you have just your MacBook plugged in and you wanna get the maximum power out of that, it can devote all 60 watts from the power adapter to just one port, making it a very fast charge for your MacBook. So it's a really interesting uh, opportunity there to just carry this around with you when you travel with both your MacBook and your iPhone, easily charge both at full speed for the phone and what comes with your, your MacBook these days. Or if you just need to boost your MacBook or your phone's fully charged or whatever, you only put in the one cord, just take out your iPhone cable and you can get super fast uh, charging speeds for your MacBook. So a very interesting additional offering there on top of the more simplistic uh, options here. And once again, this is uh, the model A2029. It goes for $46 right now. And if you compare that to the 60 watt Apple charger, that goes for $69. So a great deal as well, gives you the flexibility. The Apple version has just a single port on it, so it can't do all the exciting things that this device can do. So, you know, this is really, I, I was very impressed when I started to look at these, to price these out, to examine what was out there from third parties. Anchor in particular stood out they're really pushing their fast charging capabilities, the small form factors, particularly, you've probably seen this either on another YouTuber's channel, on ads. Uh, if you go searching on Amazon or a marketplace like that, you're gonna see this pop up as a suggestion. I think it has something like 
35,000 reviews on Amazon, and I believe the average is as close to five stars as you can get, if not exactly five stars. So this is something that has been uh, pushed out there, very popular, and I can see why. You're getting the fastest charging that you can get from your iPhone with the same size as what you used to carry around and charge in a, you know, a fraction of that speed. So very cool. I was very excited. I'm very excited to try these out, to experiment, to play around, to run some tests, to kind of pit one against the other and see where we wind up. I think it's going to be interesting to see how, how it all plays out. So look for, a, look for another video soon, uh, running some tests, showing the results and really giving more of a, more of a review of what we think of these. Uh, but for right now, if you're in need of a charger, if you're in need of a power adapter at the current moment, I think you go with the value. I think you give these a try for sure. You know, if you're just looking for your iPhone charger, 17 bucks, and you get this little guy and you get to charge at super speed basically. And if you want something more to be working with your laptop or your laptop and your phone, these are awesome ways to get fast charging and not have to compromise anything really. So that's our three options. So keep in mind, if you enjoy what you see, the likes are free and the subs don't cost anything either. Take care, guys. One. Ah, that's that. That's our three options.